Alrighty, well, I figured I'd make a quick little video of the uh, <clears throat> cart that I built for the Bessemer before I, I actually put the engine on. Uh, it came out pretty well. You might have seen the uh, the timber in uh, the video I, I did of that little generator right there in the background. So, uh, what it is, is uh, it, the, the wood is all oak. Um, the beams measure uh, five inches by like six and a half inches. It's so pretty substantial, <laughs> and they're pretty heavy. Um, I got them from a local, well, not really local, but a place uh, not very far from me. The guy had them sitting at his uh, at his barn, pretty much, for a few years, and it gave him a good chance to dry it and everything. So they're they're dried and cured, and I just um, I stained them with. Uh, um, it's Midwax uh, Early American is what I use on everything so just give that give them one coat of that if uh, if they just start to get lighter you know if they fade in the sun I'll give another coat but I think I like it as it is right now so uh, I also painted the wheels these are new wheels uh, fresh castings from uh, Cattail Foundry out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I, uh, I put the grease fitting in there. They don't come with grease fittings in them. But I figured since this thing's probably going to weigh close to uh, you know, 1,200 pounds when complete, it would be nice to have grease fittings in there. Being there's no bearing in here, it's just, um, it's actually the end of the axle here is uh, inch and a quarter water pipe. That's what uh, what they core these for at the foundry. The uh, what they core them old for inch and a quarter water pipe. That's why there's a pipe cap on the end. But um, overall, came out really well. Uh, the wood overall length is six feet. Just to give you an idea of how large it is, it's the biggest engine cart I've ever made. I'll show you what I did for the axle here. I have it sitting up on blocks just so I could spin the wheels while I painted them. But what I did, the axle for the most part is um, two by two square tubing, uh, three eighths wall. And for the rear axle, the fixed axle here, I just have a piece of plate welded to it, and that's bolted up uh, with through bolts all the way up to the top here. The inch and a quarter water pipe. Is, uh, was cut, pressed into the 2x2 uh, two two tubing just a bit and uh, uh, welded pretty well in there so don't have to worry about that at all. I chose the square tubing over just one solid piece of inch and a quarter water pipe just for rigidity. Especially up the front axle, I'll show you what I did there. And there you go. From the back. Same thing, pretty much. I had to countersink the uh, through bolts there for clearance when you turn the axle. The uh, bearing plate is essentially that uh, this round disc right inside of here, about a quarter inch thick, four inch, uh, four inches in diameter. That's like a big washer, just to just to take some of the load, let it slide around a little bit easier. And the center pin is a piece of one-inch round stock. So it, you know, the it, rigidity isn't wasn't such a big concern up at the back axle because uh, you know it's supported so close to the edge. But with the front axle being only supported in the center, I didn't want any flex in the uh, water pipe, so that's why I went with the uh, two-inch square there. And for the front handle, I just made this set up as some one by one square tubing, little pieces of plate, and just a piece of round stock there for the handle. Can't turn it all the way because my blocks of wood are in the way. But it spins easily. And I've got the, this plate on top, just lag screwed in. That's just so that, uh, you know, as you're pushing and pulling, the uh, 
the pin doesn't wear the wood so much. It's got something to press against up here. A little bit of extra support. Uh, all of that pin's a pretty good fit in the wood, just so the pin doesn't rock back and forth or side to side and just oval out or egg out the hole through the wood to hit that steel. The only last thing I gotta do here, I, sh I called this round stock and it's not. Really, it's just um, it's three quarter inch water pipe. And the plan here with this is uh, I'm going to get a, uh, a three-quarter inch T fitting and uh, have a T on the end of here with, uh, with two handles on it, well, a piece of pipe on either side to make a handle. But I'm also going to, um, well, I'll keep the threads on there so I can you know, unthread that T handle and I can thread on a coupling which I will have um, a big ring welded to, almost like a pinnel ring on a trailer. And that'll be used for uh, towing this thing around at shows with uh, one of the Panzers. Getting it on and off the trailer and putting it in its spot will make it will be a whole lot easier. You know, being Road King brings them Panzers everywhere. Just use the Panzer, which my Panzer's got a tow hitch on it, and so does Road King's. So you can just drop the handle of the uh, engine cart on the Panzer and move it around a whole lot easier, especially if the ground is soft. Pushing this thing around in soft ground would not be fun. But um, that's it for now. And you can see that that's going to be the cooling tank right there for the Bessemer. I'll, uh, you'll see more of that uh, once I set it on the car and get the engine set on there. That'll be the next video, setting the engine. Thanks for watching.